Well, hello everyone, uh, Mr. Sunshine, motorcycle technician Eddie, coming to you live right here in a hot, humid, sunny South Florida day. And uh, what we have right here is a DinoJet Power Commander uh, fuel injection module. This uh, mule injection module was in a 2002 Harley Davidson Heritage Softail. And uh, what the issue was, uh, all of a sudden, once they would drive it after a, uh, an hour or so, and the engine got hot, the entire bike would just shut down. It would then have to uh, be pulled over the side of the road, wherever you may be, uh, wait a few minutes, start it back up, drive down the road until it got hot again, and then it would die. Um, you check your gasoline. You also check uh, you know, one of the issues would be a crank sensor uh, that, may, that may have failed or it's beginning to fail. So you, you go down the line, you check your coil, you check your wires, you check your spark plugs, you check your grounds uh, on, underneath the seat. You got to make sure that the grounds are all checked. Uh, and then you can go through your diagnostic on your um, uh, speedometer by using the odometer button, turning the uh, switch, make sure the switch is on, turn it, the uh, ignition switch to the on position, holding it in for five seconds, and then your one through 10 sensors uh, we'll tell you if there is an issue or they're clear, and then it'll give you your PIN number to your vehicle. Uh, but it doesn't say anything about this because it's an aftermarket installation. Uh, when Harley-Davidson first came out, everybody went out and bought uh, one of these kits that literally just plug right into the ECU on one, plugs into the box on the other, and boom, instantly power supplied. And then you have to uh, have a special... We'll use your computer with this special plug right here where you would plug in and then you would go ahead and and on your computer program the parameters uh, as per the DinoJet as far as advanced timing, um, air mixture, fuel ratios, uh, all of that would be done on your computer, downloaded into your DinoJet and it was ready to go. So my friend was driving her bike and it died so we had to go out and help her. It uh, took about an hour for her to get home. It stopped the stall about 10 times. So I, w I went out and bought a crank sensor, Harley Davidson. Uh, in West Palm Beach, doesn't work on any later models, but uh, they told me it could very well be the crank sensor. So we put the crank sensor in, drove it for another day, and it died yet again. So, uh, oh, as a matter of fact, there's your little plug where you would plug that in, there's the cable. So uh, to, uh, the other day it did the same thing, stalled. So today I went through, I've, all the sensors were cleared. There was no problem there. I took the seat off, went through the seat, checked every ground, checked every wire. I disconnected all the electrical accessories that were aftermarket put on. And I noticed that this was just laying in front of the battery, hanging down all right, nothing's adjusted or anything. So I pulled it up out of there. It, when I turned the ignition switch on, the power and the status are flashing, 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 and they wouldn't stop. I had to shut it off, turn it back on, flash, and flash, and flash, and then it finally stayed on power. All right, when there was no light here. And as I was jiggling the, the uh, connectors, it started to make more more things so one of these pins somewhere or one of the wires somewhere in the was that i don't know how many plugs that is uh is was loose so um on these particular things all you have to do is disconnect the one off of the ecu the uh, electronic control unit plug the factory one back in and the bike started right up no issues uh i took it out for uh, right around local doesn't backfire, no, no smoking, no missing. Uh, I drove it for an hour, uh, about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, it's 104 out there, heat index, uh, back and forth local, back just up and down the street uh, uh, several times, and not one issue. Doesn't stall, doesn't do anything. So I'm thinking in this particular case that perhaps this uh, uh, something when it was getting so hot down in there, either you could see where, where it was here and then it heated up over here. You can see the change, the change in the, 
uh, plastic, and then over here, from here all over, it looks like where it got so hot that after a while, so whatever's going on inside here uh, could very well be the issue. But uh, right now we're up and running. My, my uh, friend won't have any more problems from what I can see. At least I drove it for, uh, well, again, 45 minutes without any problems. So there it is, Mr. Sunshine, Rolls-Royce technician discussing the Dino Jet Power Commander 4 fuel injection module. Thank you very much.